Chris Bumstead just officially retired, and he went out with a bang. And six-time Olympia champion, Chris Bumstead. With six back-to-back -back titles, Seabum is officially the best to ever do it. From battling injuries to trips to the hospital and struggling with his mental health. Chris Bumstead recently announced he has kidney disease and was hospitalized. This has been one hell of a journey for Chris, especially since there was some major upsets this year. And we're not just talking about Samson Dada beating Hadi Chupan and Derek Lunsford. We're talking about Mike Summerfield getting second place in the classic physique and almost beating Chris Bumstead himself. Perfect backs, immaculate vacuums, and picture-perfect quads. The competition between them was as tight as ever, and Mike was surprisingly even bigger than Chris and more defined on many occasions, which was a complete shock to fans. But at the end of the day, Chris was the full package, so he bagged that title either way. Although people are saying Mike might just manage to win the title next time around, since it looks like Seabum is finally calling it a day and leaving the sport for good. It's with a really bittersweet feeling that this is going to be my last time up on the stage. We all saw this coming from a mile away, especially since last year's Mr. Olympia took a massive toll on Chris's health. Mike really tested me when I said that. I was going through some sh** things, perhaps some crystal sh**. I started to shut down. My body started to shut down. And even then, everyone thought Chris was going to stop for good. But he surprised everyone by going for another one. And to be fair, a lot of fans were thinking Chris was going to go for at least a few more titles before he retired. Because he's clearly still got that dog in him. I believe that Chris is going to win year after year after year. Not to mention the fact that Chris opened up about how he wanted to make more money for his family. I'm able to support my family right now and I still want more so I can be good for life. Because the craziest part is that the competitors in the classic physique don't get paid nearly as much as the guys in the open category, which makes absolutely no sense and explains why Chris felt like he wanted more. I mean, the guy practically set the standard for classic physique and made it important. Chris made classic physique. If it wasn't for Chris, classic physique would not be where it is, and so they deserve way more money. So there's a small chance Chris might just be tempted to go for another title next year, even though he gave a pretty emotional goodbye speech on stage. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's given me so much love. So much support over the years. Although he's got nothing left to prove, he came to the sport as a competitor and left as a legend, which isn't something a lot of people can do. What do you think? Is Chris retiring for good? Or is he going to come back for another one?